Welcome back everybody to another episode on the Driftless Homestead. Um, today what we're going to do is we have some open model log Amish log cabins that are made by real Amish people and I wanted to re run you through those because I think they're extremely affordable for your hunting land or you know if you wanted to have something in your backyard as kind of like uh, an add-on room or something. So let's go see what they're all about. So this cabin's $11,500. I think it's a great hunter's cabin. You know, it comes with your uh, insert there for your wood stove. Um, back over in this corner, we could possibly have a couple of bunk beds and you know, guys could have their table over here. Or, you know, they could use this upstairs as a sleeping loft, even though some of it goes out over. Um, you know, so, this would be a, a great three season type cabin. Um, maybe something you wouldn't add heat to or water to. You know, you'll look at the craftsmanship on their cabinets that they made here, and these are beautiful cabinets. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable what the time and effort that they put into things because they're not just counting their time or they're not worried about profits. They're more worried about um, turning out a good product. Hardwood floors. They're finished, they look beautiful. And there's another cabin over there where they actually took a, um, a flame and passed over the floor to bring out more of the grain um, in a Japanese, uh, I forget what the method is called, but it's kind of a way of preserving the wood. And then as we go outside, You know, we see the deck, you know, where, you know, if you were doing this as a hunter's cabin or if you, just to enjoy the outdoors, you would uh, probably spend most of your time outside on these large decks. You know, and the deck is, this particular deck is six foot wide. Um, you know, you could have, it's always been a dream of mine to have a church pew on, on a deck. So you could sit out there and watch, maybe hang some hummingbird feeders or bird feeders and watch nature go by. You look at the logs here and the logs are, um, they do have a groove in here so that you can insulate it. But then you look at the size of these logs and they're a decent sized log. So when you're building a shed, cat, a shed to shed the house, you have to insulate the walls in order to have an R value. So you're not just throwing money out the window, um, heating the place here. Um, this is called a uh, thermal mass when you get these big logs heated up to a point um, and where they become energy efficient. So um, they have their own energy efficiency log cabins too. This cabin here is another one I would consider a hunting cabin or a three season cabin for a piece of property. It's only $7,500. And you know, you're, you got the outside cladding and the inside finished on. Let's take a look. We put in a couple of bunk beds, you know, where you would stay. This is more of a storage type loft. And then there again, there's the thimble for the, uh, for the wood burner. But you know, you, all you gotta do is add in furniture. You know, cabin furniture tends to be more um, simplistic in design and size, you know, so you'd get a table and chairs and, and um, the things you need. Um, they don't have a kitchen cabinet in here, but you'd have to set something up. But still, very nice space for the money, $7,500. You think about these cabins in terms of what it would cost you to even buy a camper to use during the season and how much a camper's cost. I know for a fact, a friend of mine has one of these Amish cabins, one of the first ones that they built. I know that the cabin's 40, 45 years old. I don't think you're going to find campers that you're going to spend this kind of money on and end up um, with this type of value over time. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's wood, it's finished well, it's covered well, a lot of porches, a lot of overhangs, um, so that you don't have the sun and rain beating on the wood and then tearing it apart. So they're done very well, very nice. These next two cabins I'm gonna show you um, really are bigger than Hunter's cabins. I personally, for the price, I could spend the rest of my life in one of these cabins, either one. Um, one would be a little bit nicer for my kids and grandkids and the other one just concerning me. 
This first one is $20,900, you know, which once again, compare it to a camper. And how long does a camper last? You know, it's just not gonna outlast one of these things. Let's take a look. As you can see, this porch is like, oh, is almost eight feet wide. Um, lots of room for doing different outdoor things. And then this one's got a gable end porch, um, which is quite, quite wide. I would put this at just about six feet um, for, for its width. And then if you look at these, uh, these are just decorative, but boy, are they nice. You know, they really tell a story, you know, of the cabin look with the, with the inset uh, pine trees on them. And that's the full width of the cabin, and this would be the full length of the cabin this way. Here um, you can see the floor. This is what I was telling you about where they come through with a, a, a torch and they, they burn the surface of the floor to come up with a, a, a different functional surface, and it's beautiful. Um, here's some more examples of the Amish craftsmanship in these cabinets. Uh, I know that the floor is insulated, um, so you know if you were going to put in plumbing and, and hook this up, you'd have to go through the insulation and, and through the floor. Um, this one here, you know, once again, you got the nice log walls. It's got the thimble for the wood burner, and then you got plenty of space, you know, for a kitchen table and a and a couch um, to do things. Um, behind you there, there's. There's two doors in this model. This is kind of set up as a, as a bathroom area. Certainly, you know, there's enough room in here to come in here and do your business and then, and then go out. Um, so that's pretty nice. This one has a nice, here's a storage space underneath the stairs. And to me, this is a, a fine size bedroom with a walk-in closet. Now you can trade this walk-in closet space for bathroom space back and forth because there's a, a beadboard wall in between. So you can set it up however you want to. But there again, nice large windows. These are uh, thermal pane windows. They're double glazed and they slide open. This one has a stairway going upstairs um, and it's not, so much uh, a loft it would be a sleeping loft again and you look at some of the tiny houses and this is as big as their bedroom or kids bedroom in a tiny house um, but you got a much better set of stairs to access it um, i'm 6'3 i'll go up and show you how much room is up here so I mean, I can get up here, I can move around. If, if there was mattresses, there's a couple of dormers here. You know, you could put a couple of beds on the floor, you know, for, for kids or whatnot, and then use the, the bedroom downstairs as your uh, main bedroom for, the, uh, for yourself. So this one here is um, much larger because of the height of it. Um, and this is one I could definitely see myself spending the rest of my life in because it has enough room for my children and future grandchildren, or I do have grandchildren right now, but you know, as far as expandability for more grandchildren. So on this particular model, it's kind of interesting, you know, they put the dormers over here, the extra dormers over here, and then they, um, the stairway leading up to it, and I think that, to be honest with you, you could put a second floor here and create another bedroom. Um, I would make the kitchen area a little bit smaller and I would move the wood burner towards the center of the house because uh, wood burning heat is a radiant heat and it would heat better if it was in the center. But then it would give me that second bedroom for my second child or grandchildren, you know, more grandchildren as they come along. So let's look through here. Here's some more uh, examples of the fine cabinetry skills that the, uh, the Amish have. And they're very nice, but I, I think I would, I would take this kitchen in because you know, we're not cooking gourmet meals here and then they would give me that space to move the wood burner this way and put the second floor on over that side of the cabin as well. 
Here again, we've got the storage underneath the stairs. Uh, this one's actually a little bit wider. It's got a little bit more space here. It's got a uh, room set up as a bathroom here for you. Um, once again, you know, you could play with sizes on the rooms or whatnot, but to me, it would be just fine the way it is. And then here's a bedroom um, with a walk-in closet, but here's some more uh, Amish craftsmanship and hand, handyman skills, you know, as far as, you know, building this beautiful bed, it's got a little wood burnt background in here it looks really nice and you know like i said you know when i'm at home sleeping my eyes are closed i don't know how big my bedroom is i just need a comfortable place to lay my head and this is more than enough it's more than enough to store my clothes um, this is well worth the price and we'll go through and we'll check the upstairs out now so as you can see with the extra courses of logs being 6-3, you know, there's plenty of space up here where this could be a second bedroom. And you could also have a second bedroom on that side as well. Once again, there's another uh, nice bed here, another nice dresser. On this particular model, they also have a back door with a porch on it. Um, the porch is probably four feet wide, railing all the way around it. Nice little space to go out in the evening and have a, have a glass of wine. But you could do the, it's already got one dormer on, on that end, but you could add a second dormer on that end if you wanted and have the exact same thing over there. I would maybe, I've seen these before where they had a, uh, a walkway between the two so that you only still had one set of stairs but then you had to access from the other walkway so hey uh, if you like what you see subscribe comment uh, let me know if you like these if you don't like them